praise the lord hi students welcome you all to this short session on linear programming problems under this chapter we we will be having two questions one would be a one marker question the other one would be this six marker question which would be in part e okay and one more thing what i would like to say is in one marker question in linear programming problem that is in lpp there would always be a definition which would be asked for one mark so this is a very short video where i would be dealing with the definitions of lpp which has already been asked in your examination and if you are thorough with this small short video you would be able to get one marks very easily okay so let us go to the basic definition of lpp lpp means linear programming problem now what is actually is lpp is okay the definition goes like this the linear programming problem is concerned with finding the optimal value whenever i say optimal or optimum that means it is either maximum or minimum i repeat whenever we say optimization that means it is either maximization or minimization depending upon the variable okay for example if i have if i am concerned with profit i have to maximize the profit if it is concerned with time constraints or uh, the number of workers then i have to minimize okay so a linear programming problem is concerned with finding the optimal value of an objective function this is very important there would be an objective function which is in linear form it it would be usually be of the form z is equal to ax plus by subject to the given constraints now you would be dealing this in uh, the detail while solving the six marker questions okay and non negativity conditions so usually the non negativity condition means the variable x will be greater than 0 and y greater than 0 so this is the definition of linear programming problem one more thing is uh, this definition has not been asked in your examination even once and there are less chances of this being asked also so before i move on to the next definition let me read this definition once again okay so a linear programming problem is concerned with finding the optimal value that means maximum or minimum value of an objective function let us say z is equal to ax plus by subject to the given constraints and non negativity conditions the non neg negativity conditions are x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 okay so this will conclude the first definition in in lpp which is the definition of lpp itself okay so we are moving on to the second definition so the second definition we have in lpp is optimization problem he will ask you to define optimization problem in an lpp and uh, luckily even this definition has not been asked even once in your examination so remember there will definitely be a one marker question which depends which is actually a definition in lpp okay that would be the ninth question in your part a that is one marker questions so the optimization problem definition goes like this a problem which seeks to optimize a linear objective function subject to certain constraints and non negative restrictions that is non negative constraints is called an optimization problem this definition is very similar to your linear programming problem okay i repeat if they ask you de uh, define an optimization problem in an lpp the definition goes like this a problem which seeks to optimize a linear objective function okay as i told you the linear objective function would be of the form z is equal to ax plus by subject to certain constraints and non negative restrictions okay is called an optimization problem okay so these are just a single handed one line sentences now it's up to you if you want one marks you have to buy at the uh, definition and uh, understand the definition then you need not just uh, blindly by heart it okay it's uh, these are very simple definitions if you can understand it and uh, practice it uh, writing it two or three times you can easily find the uh, write the definition if they asked in the examination right students so this was the second definition in an lpp 
now we are moving on to the next definition in lpp now as i told you even the second definition has not been asked in the examination even once okay so the third definition we have is this is one of the very important uh, definition though this question definition is not asked in the examination you should know what a corner point is only then you can solve the six marker questions okay so if they ask you define a corner point in an lpp definition goes like this a corner point is of a feasible region definitely corner point would would always be for a feasible region okay a corner point of a feasible region is a point in the region which is the intersection of two boundary lines okay when you draw the uh, graph for the uh, constraints given you would definitely find the feasible region you might have seen this in your first puc uh, uh, linear inequalities while doing a graph okay in that shaded region the corner points would would be the intersection of two boundary lines okay i repeat once again if they ask you define corner point a corner point of an lpp of a feasible region okay in an lpp a corner point of a feasible region is a point in the region which is the intersection of two boundary lines okay this is a very easy and very short definition okay so you should know the meaning of this definition also because for six mark question very important thing is you have to find the uh, feasible region and then the corner points okay so this is the definition the third definition in, in an lpp the corner point okay and uh, even this definition has not been asked in your examination even once right so i'm moving on to the fourth definition in lpp so the fourth definition is an in an lpp is define an objective function okay and in an lpp that would be the definition uh, question for one mark define an objective function in an lpp remember this question has been asked two times in your examination july 2014 and march 2019 so this is one of the uh, important definition in lpp okay so if they ask you define an objective function as i have already told you before the linear function of this is of the form z is equal to ax plus by now coming to this we know x and y are variables where a and b are constants so i repeat the linear function you have to write the word linear you you just don't start with the function z no because this is a linear function so the linear function z which is ax plus by where a and b are constants which has to be optimized which has to be optimized what has to be optimized the linear function which is z is equal to ax plus b this has to be optimized as i told you before what do you mean by optimized it is nothing but maximized or minimized okay is called the a linear objective function a very simple definition this is i repeat once again kindly bear uh okay the linear function z is equal to ax plus by where a and b are constants which means this equation which has to be optimized means maximized or minimized is called a linear objective function okay so this would be a very important definition and also the definition which is asked in your examination so remember there are chances of this question being asked in your examination for one mark you will definitely be having a one marker question in an lpp and that too a definition itself okay so please be careful and pay attention and practice this uh, definitions once or twice so that you can easily get one mark if they ask you for the examination okay so before going on to the next definition let me repeat this once again if they ask you define an objective function in an lpp you just write the linear function z which is ax plus b ax plus by where a and b are constant which has to be optimized means maximized or minimized is called a linear objective function okay very simple definition isn't it right so write down this uh, definitions uh, word by word because these are definitions you cannot use your own sentences sometimes it might not 
uh, give you the exact meaning of the original definition so please don't change the sentences write it as it is okay shall we move on to the next definition okay dear students we are moving on to the mo uh, two of the most important definitions in an lpp now i am actually reading it from the question paper in march 2020 okay the question actually it would be the ninth question goes like this define optimal solution in lpp or you may say or linear programming problem okay one marker question this is all right so i have taken the definition from your scheme of evaluation okay in the scheme of evaluation we are supposed to give you marks depending upon these answers itself okay very 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 important definition this is because this has been asked six number of times okay march 2018 and march 2020 this was asked and again july 15 20, 2017 2018 and 2020 also the same definition has been asked or repeated for one marks okay so there are three options for a definition it's up to you which one you can write and again i'm telling you don't uh, go for all the three just uh, write whichever definition you are comfortable with okay so the first way of writing a uh, defini defining optimal solution is any feasible solution remember any feasible solution of lpp which is maximized or minimized is called an optimal solution this is a very easy definition compared to the others okay i repeat once again any feasible solution of lpp which is maximized or minimized is called an optimal solution okay so this is one way of def defining an optimal solution or else if you are if you don't like this way then you can write this way in lpp the maximum or minimum value of objective function is called optimal solution okay i repeat in lpp the maximum or minimum value of an objective function is called an optimal solution okay is it clear okay i repeat in an lpp the maximum or minimum value of an objective function is called an optimal solution this is the other way of writing the definition for optimal solution or else the third way is any point in the feasible region i repeat any point in the feasible region that gives the optimal value means maximum or minimum value of the objective function is called optimal solution this uh, definition is quite lengthier than the other two but it's up to you whichever you choose to write the definition to get one marks okay so the third option is any point in the feasible region that gives the optimal value means of maximum or minimum value of the objective function is called optimal solution okay so i hope you have noted down the definition in whichever way you want it uh, you can pause the video and write down the definition okay remember this is a very important definition which has been asked six number of times okay so we are moving on to one of the major definition which has also been asked six number of times okay that would be the last definition for this uh, small video okay are you ready so the final definition or the this is also one of the most important definition in an lpp you would you would ask you define a feasible region in lpp okay march 14 15 16 17 and july 16 and 19 so six times they have repeated the same definition for one mark okay so what is the definition of feasible region the common region or you can say the shaded region okay so the common region determined by all the constraints including the non negative constraints which are the non negative constraints i have told you x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 of an lpp of a lpp is called the feasible region or its feasible region very important definition if they ask to define feasible region in an lpp you can write this the common region or the common shaded region determined by all the constraints including the non negative constraints the, which is uh, x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 of a lpp is called its feasible region okay kindly note down the definition neatly and correctly and practice this 
so that you can easily get one mark if they ask you in your main examination okay i hope you have noted down all the definitions and kindly practice it so that you can get one mark right pritiya vidyarthigale ee ondu chikka session alli now lpp anu chapter alli kodabodadanta one marker question definitions ellavannu nodidivi daivittu idanna barkondu nee bardu practice maadi adralli samanyogi kelirodu moore definition ondu objective function ondu feasible region ondu optimal solution okay so daivittu ide ee moore definition miss maadde odkoli one mark nimge adrallu 9ne question part a alli kanditavaglu answer maadoke nimge sadhyavagutte okay okay students i am winding up this session so that uh, uh, we would uh, make some arrangement for the next session okay so we'll meet you all in the next session until then take care and bye